but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. Play clock winding down. Play clock down to zero. And this is not the way to start a drive. It's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because this is, this is a quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. Now Carr throwing on second down. He's going to go for a big play downfield. And got his man complete. That Touchdown, Oakland. Amari Cooper, 83 yards. And the Raiders are able to strike quickly for six. Partner, you know what the real key is to stopping a good passing attack? You tell me. Being able to tackle as soon as a guy catches the football. Didn't work out there. No, because when you give up the big run after catch, the rack yardage, that puts your defense in a big-time stressful position. A lot of rack yardage and a touchdown there on the big play. That's right, homie. Madden 2017, homie, all day long. Now Janikowski following the score. He'll boot this one away. Here's Taiwan Jones on the return. No jumping over. <laughs> And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. And now Oakland ready to take the field. And the last time they had the football, they surrendered two points on the safety. And they don't want to do that one again. No, not at all. It's almost like a bases clearing double, isn't it? Give up a couple of runs. Sure. <laughs> just, mess, just messes things up for you offensively. But now they've got to go ahead, take it, set it aside, and move forward. Now Carr. Connects it to Roberts, right side. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. Well, sometimes we talk running backs. Sometimes we talk wide receivers. Walford, the tight end in this unit, very important. Clive Walford, a terrific player. Knows how to work the inside portions of the field, but also can surprise you and get deep. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. And we take a look now at the defense for the Raiders. Sean Smith is absolutely the prototype of what they call the long corner. Tall, plenty of length in his arms, and the ability to bat away passes. And he brings this up to the 46, good enough for the first. There are a lot of tough routes to try and cover. When you see a runner come out of the backfield and run this angle route, looks like they're going to the flat, and then they put their foot in the ground and cut back sharply inside. Not easily covered, and then when they catch it, good momentum built up by them as well. And able to pick up the first. On first down, Murray stays on his feet. And he's brought down. Murray had the 1,000-yard season in 2015, followed that up with 788 last year. Now, also in the mix in Oakland, you had Washington, you had Richard. How do you see this backfield playing out going forward? I think you'll see a similar combination going forward. I think that's one of the reasons that he dropped from a 1,000-yard runner to 788 because they had other options. They're able to bring in Washington, Rashard. They can use different plays for those guys, a lot of versatility, and really upgrade their offense with an infusion of speed. But Latavius Murray, I think he'll still continue to be the lead guy out of that trio. On 
first and ten. Here's Carr. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. It's an eight-yard pickup, and that'll make this a second down. But he's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. Now Carr. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Ready to go now in the second quarter. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis. It's the Raiders in possession of the football. Now Whistles and the Raiders are going to signal for a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. We're ready. Red 18. Car turns, hands to Murray, and he is going to lose yardage here. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Partner, we're into the second quarter, and I guess you can kind of look at it both ways. The offense, they've got to figure out what they're going to do because they haven't scored any points. But if you're the defense, you're feeling great about what you've got going on. The only concern you have, to get to the half, what adjustments will the offense make to try to defeat you? Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. It's a gain of seven, and just like that, it's third down. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him? without weakening our overall defense. You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. Working from the gun, it's Carr. And this is Carr. Touchdown, Raiders. Michael Crabtree there to make the grab. And the Raiders are back within a score. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it was a two-step deal. Boom, but he's put in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. So they go with the pass, and it works there on the two-point try. Charles, just in general, what are your thoughts passing versus running on two-point conversion? Situational? It is situational. You have to know your team. What is your strength? Because so many people think you have to throw the ball on a two-point conversion, but the stats will tell you that running it is about as proficient. So know your team and go to your strength. Now Janikowski following the score. He'll boot this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. And now Oakland ready to take the field. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Let's look ahead for a quick minute. We don't have the schedules yet for next year, but what we do have are the five international games that will be played, four in London and then one again in Mexico, Jacksonville, Baltimore, Miami, New Orleans, Cleveland, Minnesota, Rams in Arizona, those in London, and then Mexico's going to get a great game. The Raiders and New England. Yeah, you're exactly right. And just think about the ones in London. Remember, they're splitting them between the two different stadiums yep. in London. So they get a different flavor in all these places. In Mexico, for the second straight year, the Raiders are coming to town. That should be a whole lot of fun. Should be a ton of fun and a very good matchup. And he's unable to grab it. Thought he might have had position. Couldn't hold on. Third down. And when all else fails as a defender, when you're not there in the coverage... Your best friend is exactly what we saw there. A big play shot taken by the offense. Unfortunately, it ended in a big drop. 
Incomplete pass on second down. Let's see what the offense draws up here on third. One receiver to the left is Cooper. Throwing his car on third down. He's going to try and go deep again. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. On every offensive coordinator, every play caller sheet, they have about five or six plays per game that they call shot plays or big plays. And you don't get many opportunities to dial them up. And they just did. And they drop it with a great chance to make a big play. That's going to hurt. Let's take it inside his own 40. 35 yards that time on the punt. And the Raiders will take possession. Now the Oakland offense heading back onto the field to take over. And they're going to need another score. Got one last time, but still down here. When you're playing catch-up, every possession becomes crucial, doesn't it? It's vital. Get back out on the field, punch in the end zone again. They know it's not easy, but what they do have going for them, they did score the last time. They think they've got a good formula working. And what about the defense? Well, now you're just saying to yourself, okay, give up a score last time. What adjustments do we need to make to slow them down now and get the ball back for our own offense? Is it more pressure? Is it more zone? What do they have to do? They're trying to figure that out themselves. We'll see if they can figure that out right here. On second down, here's Carr. Letting one fly deep for Cooper. So the long attempt falls innocently to the ground, and it brings up third. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense that that fell harmlessly to the ground. From the gun now on third down, Carr. Finding his safety valve here. That's complete. A good pick up there, 20 yards. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you swing it out to your runner, get them out in the flat, and let them have a chance to make people miss an open field. Here's Wolford over the middle. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Give him 13 on the pick up there. And that'll be good for an Oakland first down. And now the passing game here in the second quarter starting to heat up a little bit. Don't you feel the rhythm starting to happen, right? You see it. Now the confidence is starting to rise. I think now as a play caller, because that has happened, you lean on it a little bit more. You don't go totally away from running the football, but you do say, guess what? We can throw it. We can throw it well with a whole lot of confidence. looking to avoid a third and long at second and ten. Again, they'll throw with Carr. And down he goes. Brought down a Raider sack. He'll wind up losing a full nine yards here on the sack. Now it's third down. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. So with that, we come upon the two-minute warning here on the NFL out of EA Sports. It's Carr. Now they set up the screen. That's good play. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. I love the intelligence the defense just showed there. Read their keys, saw the screen developing, ran to it, and smothered it. What a third down stop by them. Out is Janikowski now for the Raider field goal try. From the right hash, this from 48. And the 38-year-old vet able to split the uprights. And with that, they'll take a two-point lead here in quarter number two. So it goes down as an eight-play drive, and they cap it with the field goal. Yeah, they were able to pick up a few first downs along the way, but they couldn't keep the momentum going all the way into the end zone. Now after the main field goal, here's Sebastian Janikowski to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. 
And the decision to come out is going to cost him five yards with a new rule as he's taken down right at the 20-yard line. And now Oakland ready to take the field. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now with a game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. First down. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And that's caught inside the 35. And all the way in. Touchdown. That's right, homie. Matt in 2017 all day, every day. 79 yards. And once again, the Raiders are back out in front. Now he's having a nice little first half here, partner. And it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty more before this game is over. And the lead is up to five. Now Janikowski following the score. He'll boot this one away. This will be taken about the 12. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. The Raiders offense now. They trot back out. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you, you described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Partner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fellow runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, right, running back go. usually a good spot right, to go with the football. Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Now some confusion offensively here as Carr is going to signal for a timeout. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. One receiver to the left is Cooper. Throwing on first down is Carr. His throw caught at about the five. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Seth Roberts in the final seconds of the first half. And the Raiders have retaken the lead. Sebastian Janikowski on for the PAT. now two Now 
Janikowski following the score. He'll boot this one away. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple of extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Now the Raiders offense, they get set to head back on the field. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. Final shot here before half for Carr. He's going to rifle one deep left side. It's caught inside the 25. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. Teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And the kicker commits the kicker's cardinal sin. He kicks it out of bounds. second down. Normally, he's pretty reliable. Usually catches what's thrown to him. On that play, he simply dropped it. Throwing his car on third down. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. Seven yards on the play, and that's going to bring up the fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Now stopped him in his tracks. Here's Marquette King now as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the stop defensively. Now a chance really to set the tone here in quarter three. They can really take charge, can't they? And this is probably how it was drawn up at the half. I think we can go inside the locker room, all right? <laughs> and I think we would see up on the grease boards, stop them defensively, get the ball back from the offense, and let's go downfield and score. Seems simple, right? A wide open, complete. That <laughs> That's Touchdown, right, homie, all Oakland. day, every day. Amari Cooper, an 80-yard touchdown, and the Raiders have retaken the lead. And that third counter there gives them the lead, and it's obvious they've needed everything that he's given them today. The three touchdowns, that's impressive, but without them, they're not winning this game. And the lead is up to five. Now Janikowski following the score. He'll boot this one away. It's a short kick. Taking it to 15. And they're going to 
to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. So out come the Raiders. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before and realize it hasn't worked go to so something well. else. And maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. So they complete the pass, and now they face a second down. Shotgun now for Carr. Connects it to Roberts, right side. A big play that time on the catch and run. And the Raiders are going to get a new set of downs. It's a nice completion, a little bit of run after catch as well to create the yardage that they got. But it is so tough to cover that route, the drag route, because they run it at varying speeds. Because the key is to create hesitancy on the defender's part. Always so empathetic for those DBs, aren't you? Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held them to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. All right, here we go. Ready. On second down, here's Carr. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. As tight ends go, he might not provide the super flashy plays very often, but he's pretty reliable. Usually an excellent target and normally catches what's thrown to him, but he didn't on that play. So third down, they need to get to the 28 for a first. We ready? Five and eight. Carr. And he'll have his man. That's Cooper. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 20-yard line. So Amari Cooper out of Northwestern High School in Miami making it up. Now Whistles and the Raiders are going to signal for a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. First down, Carr. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. They'll get four there out of the screen, and it's second down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. And here comes play number six on this drive. Again, it's Carr. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. Nine yards on the play there, and it sets him up first and goal. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. production on the field his second touchdown of the game and they lead and now they'll be looking to their defense to preserve that lead car will look to throw and no a 
it falls incomplete. So the two-point conversion, no good. And in the third quarter here, they were trying to push that to a three-point game, but instead it'll stay at one. And I'm a big proponent of not chasing points or going for two too early. But in this case, I understand why. You know, if you kick an extra point, you're just up two, yeah. right? So a field goal still puts the other team ahead. So you go for two here and protect the field goal lead. They didn't get it done, though. The Raiders are trot back out and last time the formula was pretty simple one play drive long pass that maybe they just want to do that again right and that's exactly how you want to draw things up whether it's on your grease board right in your playbook one play drives exactly what you want on offense what they have to be careful of is not having a letdown it yeah. was really easy last time they can't expect that going forward yeah we'll see if it's that easy here One receiver to the left is Cooper. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. Throwing now is Carr. He's going to launch this into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the safety, Reggie Nelson. And his crew will take over at their own 45-yard line. And now Oakland ready to take the field. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Here's Wolford over the middle. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 15 yards through the air on a first down. Now Carr with a give to Murray. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Back now in the East Bay. And we've got a dandy here. One-point game as we begin the fourth. And they're behind the sticks here a bit now, dealing with a second and 12. Shotgun now for Carr. Connects it to Roberts, right side. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. They come out here in the eye. Time to ground it out now with Murray. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. Puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. It's a gain of six on the play, and they're going to face a third down. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do, and that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play, one-on-one -on -one matchup if someone's trying to cover them, right, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. Caught the tight end, Walford. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses... It's understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. Jack Del Rio going to take a chance here. His guy's going forward on fourth. One receiver to the left is Cooper. Carr 
are going to go on fourth down. And that's complete to Walford. And he's got the first down as he gets it to the eight. Well, the feel that I get on this is that they felt like three was just not going to be enough after getting this deep into their territory. And Charles, correct me if I'm wrong, but it didn't even look like they hesitated there. They knew they wanted to go for it. That tells me that during the week, they were thinking about these situations, and they feel like maybe they're just the better team, and they want to go ahead and prove it conclusively. Now, Carr again, escapes the sack. He's got time. And this is caught. Touchdown, Raiders. Clive Walford from eight yards out. And the Raiders add on to their lead. That's almost just not right. You cover everybody. But those tight ends, they can be awfully reliable. Very reliable. It, the defense just has to hate those guys. This drives them crazy because oftentimes you can't match up with them. They have either with size, speed, or maybe even just strength. And it's no good. Well, that could be a critical miss here in a one-score game in the fourth. Now Janikowski following the score. He'll boot this one away. This is taken at the three. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. And now Oakland ready to take the field. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling. Because a one-play drive where you throw an interception... A lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. They go back to the air here after the eye. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. A great read, and it's picked off. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. And now Oakland ready to take the field. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people are focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, you've almost got to get down to those starters blocks like you're a sprinter. Get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier <laughs> said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting them to shreds. Now Carr throwing on second down. Finds Roberts left side. And he'll go down at the 28. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. They got to get to the 20 to keep the drive alive on third down. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. They got to get to the 20 to keep the drive alive on third down. All right, here we go. Throwing his car on third down. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he will have the first down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Okay, when the big guy runs a corner route, you're asking a lot no matter who's covering him. Doesn't matter whether it's a linebacker or a defensive back. Yeah. He usually has the advantage because of his body type. second and goal. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target.
They come out with one back and three tight ends. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. And I can't imagine we'd see another throw here. Third and goal from the one. To throw his car. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. He was trying to get it to Seth Roberts. And that'll bring up a fourth down. Third down is a down. Both sides know they absolutely have to win. And the name of the game for the defense is pressure on the quarterback. But pressure on the quarterback with contact, that's how you end up winning it. Here we go, a big play in a tight game late. They're going on fourth and goal. Car to throw for it on fourth down. And that is incomplete. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And the Raiders hang tough down near the goal line. And now Oakland ready to take the field. One possession game, <laughs> time very much a factor. How does the offense handle this situation? Well, in a lot of cases, they should be somewhat relaxed. And I know that's counterintuitive because this is a pressure situation. But this is Friday practice every week of the season. You go over this situation, having to go downfield, limited timeouts, got to get out of bounds and keep the drive going and set yourself up. Defensively, you can't just lay. He's got a man complete. And all. Six yard line. A big play there. Carter Cooper. 62 yards. And the offense lining up first and ten. He'll look to throw. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. Back to throw. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by Sean Smith. The Raider offense now making their way toward the huddle. The clock cannot be stopped here. Defense can't do anything. So, kneel it down, take it home. No doubt about it. It's what you practice for in winning situations each and every week. Victory formation. Take a knee and go on into the locker room and celebrate. Call it a victory. We ready? Red 18. Car going to throw here. And he fends him off. And he's going to go down way back at the 42-yard line. A lot of scoring. There's no doubt about that in this one, Charles. Points, they were not in a premium. They were pretty easy to come by. <laughs> they were, but it was fun, wasn't it? Because both teams finding ways to click. And you know people who love this game. They also love baseball games that are 14 to 11 with three or four home runs mixed in.
That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden.